Hey there everyone, welcome back to HET. Today we're taking care of some 30,000 mile maintenance. That's right, we're changing the gear oil. All right, so I'm here underneath the car over by the gear oil drain plug, which is at the bottom of the differential housing. This is not to be confused with the engine oil drain plug, which is a little bit in the front underneath the engine of the car. They are different and that's why they have different fasteners. So for the gear oil, you're going to need a T70 Torx bit. And then you will also need a ratchet or breaker bar such as I have here. All right, so then draining this is really simple. You're just gonna loosen up the plug. There we go. And then get ready to unthread the rest by hand. Make sure you have your drain pan underneath. Otherwise, you're going to be spilling gear oil all over your floor. And get ready for a bunch to gush out once this thing comes out. And there she comes. All right, so then we're just going to kind of wait, you know, a good 15, 20 minutes for this to drain out. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and start refilling uh, the new gear oil. And that's really all there is to it. So while we're waiting, we'll go ahead and look at where we're going to be filling in our new gear oil. So in the engine bay, we got the intercooler here. Underneath the intercooler is a dipstick. So we're going to go ahead, pull that dipstick. And where that dipstick goes into... Uh, you can see it's got like a little um, filler tube that's in kind of an awkward location. So to help with that, we have this flexible uh, filler tube attachment that we will be putting onto our bottle of gear oil. So we simply unscrew that, uh, break the seal. And then this just screws right on to the top like that. And this wall has like a valve here that opens and closes, And so we can avoid any unnecessary spillage. All right, so you can see here, I got this tube right into the filler port. And the requirement is 3.8 gallons. So we're not gonna fill this yet, but we're just gonna let in a little bit of fluid just to drain out whatever residual gunk is left over from the old fluid. So we'll go ahead, open up the valve, let a little bit through. Then close that off. All right, and then with our fluid drained and flushed, we'll go ahead and install our drain plug and new crush washer. As always, I'll have links to all products and equipment I used uh, in the description below. All right, so he's hand tight. We'll go ahead and torque this guy down. All right, and then torque spec on this guy is a hefty 52 foot-pounds. All right, and now we'll go ahead and actually fill the differential with new gear oil. And after our little flush, it's pretty much gonna be the whole rest of the this container. So we just got the valve open, and now we just wait for this whole thing to drain. All right, and then with our container drained, we'll reinstall our dipstick. And that's it. We're done. So I hope you guys like this video. If it helped you, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe really helps out the channel. As always, have fun with your guys' projects. I'll see you guys in the next video.